And you're a land developer sitting waiting, you just have to wait for the right government and yes. charge ahead. Well, and I think Smitherman was quite prepared to take on our region, municipal government, but he's moved on. So. so I wanted to actually ask Larry if you could sort of give us a recap as to the Strathcona neighborhood. What, what are some of the things that we can do? And then I'm going to ask the people who are here who live in the neighborhood um, what you think we should do. So there's not much I can do on the O and B side. I'm not an expert in that area, and I, I, there's not enough time for me to become an expert. The things that I know that we can do um, is to try to work on our council to get them to pull the plug on this. This is this is what the everyday person can, can do. And uh, one of the, one of the things that they they justify this with is that they say there isn't enough employment lands. Well, Peter and several other people are working on a project to map the existing employment lands um, way beyond the, the city's definition of, of what's available. We're going down that road. And Peter, you can use more people to help you. Was, yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah, we so if, if you're interested in identifying the available employment lands, you want to speak to Peter. Um, the, the city's going to wrap this up and try to sell this in job creation, right? Who doesn't want more jobs, right? So, so even if the jobs take away all the land that can feed you, they're jobs. So, so we really have to start looking at uh, job, uh, alternative job strategies. Um, and I, and I, I'm going to interrupt there because I wouldn't ask my, our council for that too, who said the same thing. And, and you know, what are you going to say to those people then when you're you said we want to fight our councilors and they're saying? But we need those jobs, and we got to build that job. I have jobs. Yeah, maybe said that about the Redfield as well. I haven't yeah. seen any more jobs for the building so, express. So, so, so I, I have the answer for you. These argument. people are entrenched in their position, and they're going yeah. to the OMB entrenched in this, I want these jobs right. thing. And for us to go, there's only one counselor that's that's going to um, but they can change two, their, they Probably two counselors, counselors in the mayor at this point that are opposed to this. What's next one? And we've only heard... Yeah. But we've only heard half, not even half the points. Like there are sixteen solid points. Each one of them could. So I, I have should a business be heard. that was located where the I think it's called Biox or Biox Biodiesel plant. Yeah. Uh, right? yeah. I had a business that was located right there, and I was forced to move my business. And and the headlines in the Spectator read three hundred jobs coming to Hamilton for 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 this biodiesel plant. And you go down there, it's pretty much an automated plant. I don't know if there's three or four people there. They always sell us on jobs. And whether they, those jobs appear or they don't appear, we run like a herd to, to, to push yeah. those jobs. So our, our communication strategy moving forward is going to be more jobs 